Hello and welcome to the Nikivo Backup and Replication tutorial video series on the Site Recovery functionality. By watching these videos, you can learn how to set up, test, and run site recovery workflows. In the previous video, we created a recovery workflow using the Site Recovery functionality. In this video, we show you how to schedule and test the workflow you created. There are several things you need to do before testing your recovery workflow. First, Define your recovery time objective, which is the amount of time that the recovery process should take. If your site recovery workflow cannot meet your recovery time objective during testing, you should consider updating it or allocating more resources. Then define the scope and resources for your workflow testing. Consider the number of VMs involved in the failover and the time the testing should be conducted. You should also make sure that all the actions in your site recovery workflow are set to run in test mode. Check out the previous video in this series for more details if you're not sure how to do that. Next, you may want to consider defining the resources necessary for the failover. You could have a separate disaster recovery location or use your production site for testing. However, in either case, the servers should have enough RAM and CPU to facilitate a seamless process. If they are insufficient, you may need to dedicate additional resources from other servers. The last step in preparation should be setting up a testing schedule. You might want to test your site recovery workflow over the weekend when you can fine-tune the process if necessary. On the other hand, you might sometimes want to perform stress testing during your busy working hours to see if your infrastructure can handle the workloads. Setting up a testing schedule for a site recovery workflow is an easy task. When creating or editing the existing workflow, this is the second to last step, right before the final options section. As with all other types of jobs, Nikivo Backup and Replication has a flexible scheduling system that can help you set up automated testing of your recovery workflow however often you want. You can also choose to forego testing by checking the box labeled Do Not Schedule, Test On Demand. After you have set the scheduling, go to the Options section and select Send Test Run Report To. This allows the solution to send you a full report on the job to your email address once it has run. Please note that in order to enable this option, you must first have configured your email settings in the Configuration tab. Now, let's move on to how you can start the testing manually. Simply click the Run Job button and select Test Site Recovery Job. You will be prompted to set your RTO once again. Once that is done, just click Test to start the process. As with all other jobs, you can monitor the site recovery workflow's progress from the main UI of Nikivo Backup and Replication. Once the job finishes running, the solution can send you a full report if you enabled this option earlier. The report contains everything you need to know about the test run, including the actions that were carried out, how long each action took, and if any problems arose during testing. This concludes our demo on testing a site recovery workflow. In the next video, we are going to show you how to run failover. Download the full-featured trial of Nikivo Backup and Replication to test out the site recovery functionality in your own environment.